I think before placing the implant, we need to assess periodontal health. Is the patient periodontally healthy or is he a candidate for periodontal infection or later peri-implant infection? And in both cases, we need to instruct him how to clean his teeth and later on the implant. And if he is already a periodontal patient, of course, we need to get rid of the periodontal infection before the implant is placed. Uh, as soon as we are coming to implant placement, we need to find the right prosthetic uh, position of the implant because we want to create a prosthetic solution that is cleansable in the long term. And um, also very important is to create adequate soft tissue around the implant uh, regarding soft tissue thickness. It shouldn't be too thick, which is very often the case in periodontal patients. And we also need to have a keratinized uh, mucosa around the implant for long-term stability. First of all, it's very important to make it clear to the patient that an implant can get infected or sick like a tooth. So uh, many patients think, now I have an implant and I don't, will, will not have any more problems in my life. So we have to make aware that this is not the case. And then we have to show him how can I clean around the implant because it's a little bit different compared to teeth. And then, of course, we have to con convince him to come back uh, every year at least. And uh, we need to assess periodontal health. Once a year, we have to make a periodontal chart and never lose the patient. W and H. People have priority.